Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien, and Bubba. Notice Bubba's got his favorite winter coat on today, on Thursday, November 14th. Well, hope you guys had fun with the impeachment hearings yesterday. Yeah, wasn't that fun? Did you learn nothing? I didn't. I just saw a bunch of Democrats over there trying to be stupid. Well, other than that, they don't even know what impeachment is or constitution is. Until they figure that out, they're going nowhere. Well, I wanted to do a special video today on Whoopi Goldberg, Megan McCain, and Joy Behar from The View. I saw an article yesterday where Whoopi Goldberg was uh, doing an interview and explaining The View. And she says, oh, I've been here for 10 years. Well, yeah, she has. But she didn't learn anything from Barbara Walters. And she's let the view become so intransigent, it's not even funny. And she says that Joey Behar and Megan McCain are best friends. And they talk to each other after the show. Really? With views like that, you can be best friends? Come on. Whoopi, I wasn't born in Mars. I come from a different planet, and I know intransigent. And you Earth, you're Terrans, you don't understand that word, I guess. Because that's what your, your show is. You're supposed to be promoting, and the show is called The View. Which means that people have all kinds of views that you put on the show. Or your producers do. And I blame Disney for this mess on The View. Because they are supposed to be promoting uh, people of the planet. It's a small world after all. Remember Disney? And here you are promoting discourse, intransigence, and then you wonder why your society is going to hell in a handbasket. Look at the case of all three of these ladies. Ms. Uh, Goldberg acts like she is not there. But she puts her views in once in a while, which are intransigent also. Miss Bearheart thinks that she controls the kingdom. And Miss McCain, well, she thinks that she's got to stick up for her father. Those Republicans are no longer around, Miss McCain. They're dead. Your Republican Party made sure of that. You should know. You're dead on the Republican Party. McJohn McCain? Really? Today's Republican Party? That's like saying Barry Goldwater. And they'll look at him. Who? What? You see what I mean, Miss McCain? You're dead. These Republicans have no backbones. They have no standards. They don't know what the hell a Republican was or is. Same with the Democrats. They're socialists over there. Now, Joy Behar, she thinks that uh, your views is it, and no other views are it. And so do you, Miss McCain. You walked out on Je Hanoi Jane. Over something that happened 50 years ago. Yes. Can you imagine if today a Japanese came on your show and somebody walked up and called him a nip? Really? Because of World War II? And the March on Bataan? Would they tolerate this today, Miss McCain? I don't think so. Why do they tolerate you? Why do they tolerate Joy Behar? And how can you guys go have a drink after work? After you do this to people on your show. There's people that I don't like. Donald Trump for one. I'm not pro and I'm not anti. I just don't like him. I don't like you. Because you got such a, a, a view of Republicans. And I like your dad. Senator McCain was already there. There and there. Where is the middle? Where is the middle Miss McCain here? I know Joy Behar doesn't have anything that looks like the middle. Neither does uh, Whoopi Goldberg. But you? You surprise me. You're beginning to look like those guys on the right. You know that Joy Behar is all the way there on the left. So why don't you do something about it, Miss McCain? Joy Behar shouldn't even be on the show. Whoopi Goldberg shouldn't even be on the show. You need somebody that tolerates the views and say, okay, explain your views to our viewers. But don't do what you're doing because you're creating uh, intransigent viewers 
and sooner or later they're going to come back to bite you in the ass. This is your favorite alien, and Bubba, saying, gee, Disney, why don't you tell ABC to either change the view or take it off the air? One of the two. Good day.